So some of you may have heard about this story last week even, maybe even earlier this year. Um, but the story goes that a doctor who works at NYU was on vacation with her husband, with her family, and ate at a restaurant in Disney Springs, ate at a pub. This doctor's got food allergies. She always makes it a point to talk to the staff wherever she goes out to eat to make sure that, hey, these are my food allergies. I can't eat these foods. And they said, yes, yes, of course, of course. All good. We understand. And she usually double and triple checks. Well, she ate dinner. After dinner, she felt sick. Took her EpiPen that she always carries with her. Injects injects the EpiPen, doesn't really help her, goes to a local hospital in the Orlando area, and passes away. Fast forward a little bit. The, the husband, the widower, then files a wrongful death lawsuit against Disney. Why he's only asking for 50K, I got no idea, but it's $50,000. That's what he's going for, damages from Disney. Disney responds to said lawsuit saying that because the widower, the husband, had signed up for a free trial at Disney Plus five years ago, that this case should be dismissed and, and it should go to arbitration due to the terms and conditions of Disney Plus. Well, needless to say, that didn't sit well. The backlash against Disney was rather vocal. And it's just another reminder that corporations don't care about you. So that was the end of last week when that story came out that Disney filed a motion with the court to have the case dismissed based on terms and conditions for signing up for Disney Plus. Which means, according to Disney, you can't sue us unless you're going to take us to small claims court. Otherwise, it's got to go to arbitration. So fast forward to today, this story from the New York Post, Disney backtracks on tossing wrongful death lawsuit by NYU Doctors Widower because of Disney Plus subscription. Now, Disney just didn't backtrack because of a quote here in the article, which I'm going to get to in a second. They backtracked because of public pressure. So before I get into this, just want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel, all 18,000 plus of you in the last couple of years. Um, if you're new here and you like what I'm doing, like the things that I'm covering, please take the time, hit that subscribe button, hit that, hit the thumbs up for a like, hit the notification bell. Those things help out the channel, help me get uh, the channel promoted on YouTube. And for everyone, leave a comment before you leave, if you would, please. So let's dive into this article. Disney's backtracked on its push to have a wrongful death lawsuit filed by a New York City or New York University doctor's grieving husband tossed because of the fine print in the widower's Disney Plus streaming service subscription. The theme park juggernaut revealed its decision to reverse course late Monday after sparking outrage for argue, arguing in court filings that Jeffrey Piccolo shouldn't be able to sue over his wife. She goes by Amy. I'm just going to call her Amy because in the other articles, that's what her name is. or that's what she goes by. Amy Tang Swan's allergy related death because of the subscription agreement he had signed years earlier, which was back in 2019. Here's the quote from Disney that I alluded to earlier. At Disney, we strive to put humanity above all other considerations. Josh DeMauro, chairman of Disney Experiences, said in a statement to the Post about the company's decision. Well, Josh, at Disney, if you strive to put humanity above all other considerations and concern this, the, the fact that this guy's only asking for 50 grand, um, the honorable thing would have been, you know what? 50K, done. Now, I know that would have set probably a bad precedent, 
but it's not like the guy is suing you for millions and millions and millions of dollars. With such unique circumstances as the ones in this case, we believe this situation warrants a sensitive approach to expedi expedited resolution for the family who have experienced such a painful loss. As such, we've decided to waive our right to arbitration and have the matter proceed in court. According to this, Disney has yet to officially file its latest motion in Orange County, Florida. That's the Orlando area. Circuit court as of Tuesday morning, record show. So that was as of this morning. The move comes a week after it emerged that Amy's bereaved widower was embroiled in the heated legal battle after slapping Walt Disney Parks and Resorts with the wrongful death suit, arguing the NYU doctor suffered a fatal allergic reaction after eating at Disney Springs restaurant in Florida last October. Disney, however, fired back and claimed the $50,000 suit should be thrown out of the courts because Piccolo had agreed to arbitrate all disputes with the company when he signed up for a one-month Disney Plus trial in 2019, court papers said. I mean, could you imagine the precedent that would set? Think about it. You could never sue Disney for anything outside of small claims if they have wronged you in some way and you have to go to arbitration, which <laughs> you don't think arbitration is a one-sided deal when it comes to a, co a corporation like Disney? You think you're going to get a fair shake in arbitration? Think about that. You can comment down below if you want. Not only was the Disney Plus thing something that Disney was leaning on, they also argued that Piccolo had agreed to similar arbitration language when he used the My Disney Experience app to buy tickets to visit Epcot, Epcot's theme park in September last year, according to the filing. So not only do you forgo any of your rights to be able to sue Disney, except for small claims for signing up for Disney plus, but also because you purchased theme park tickets on the, my Disney experience app. That is just <sighs> insane. Disney had claimed both agreements had required Piccolo to consent to the arbitration five print before purchasing the motion added. Now, thankfully, he's got some pretty good lawyers because, I mean, uh, a first-year lawyer out of Harvard could probably take care of this one. They slammed Disney's preposterous motion as outrageously unreasonable and argued it was fatally flawed. The notion that terms agreed to by a customer when creating a Disney Plus free trial account would forever bar that consumer's right to a jury trial in any dispute with any Disney affiliate or subsidiary is so outrageously unreasonable and unfair as to shock the judicial conscience. And this court should not enforce such an agreement. That was written by the widower's attorney on an August, in an August 2nd motion to the court. Now, again, This just goes to prove, and this is outside of the entertainment stuff with Lucasfilm and Marvel and whatever. This just goes to prove how, dare I say, evil companies like this can be. They don't care about you. All you are to them, the paying customer, is dollar signs. Period. That's what you are to them. Um, you know, this lawsuit, again, was only 50K, $50,000. Now, this would have been millions. It still doesn't justify the fine print about arbitration being used as a way to get around a wrongful death suit. 
So the dollar amount is, is has no consequence on what Disney was trying to do here. But if I'm Disney, like I said, pay the 50K, be done. There's going to be more money spent on lawyers to adjudicate this case, the suit, than just pay the 50K and there you go. Now, somebody I did come across pointed out that this legal filing requires a base number. So 50K isn't the actual amount. So this is probably a lot more than 50K, but we'll see. We'll see if there's more uh, coverage of this suit. And, you know, maybe someday if, if the number is greater than 50K, maybe we'll find out what that number is. But there you go. There's an update on the wrongful death suit filed against Disney. Um, tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Again, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.